Yo, what is up beautiful people? Welcome back to yet another video. This is going to be the final progress video of our one week long grind of this $20,000 Deadman Mode tournament or $32,000, however you wanna call it. Uh, before I actually start this video, I would like to mention a couple of things. In the end of this video, I will be talking about my ideas and a small little things I would actually change about the Deadman Mode or let's just call it feedback of this Deadman Mode tournament. I'm a player that puts insane amount of hours into every single tournament so I think my feedback could help maybe the Jagex team if someone from them is watching so I'll just mention it all in the end of the video and I also just want to genuinely talk about certain things and I don't want to do that at the start because there's quite a bit of progress that I did today but with that being said obviously uh, the progress is not as much as the other days because yesterday I was already nearly maxed so today's goal was to just get some of the items that are very very sketchy to get and uh, let's just see how everything went. But before I actually get fully into it, um, tomorrow, 8 p.m. GMT, make sure you guys watch uh, the official RuneScape stream over at twitch.tv slash oldschoolrs. I will not be streaming this Deadman Mode tournament because I will play on a different location um, to secure myself from, well, you guys know what happened last time, so this time around... I'm trying to protect myself as much as I can. However, if I make it to 1v1s, I will start the stream. So basically, if I don't make it to 1v1s, you just watch your old school runescape stream, that's fine. If I make it to 1v1s, I will start the stream and you will get to witness me either instantly planking or maybe killing some competition and see how far I get. I just wanted to put that out there for the people that are going to be waiting the stream. You can wait for it. If I make it to 1v1s, I'm turning it on. If not, you can enjoy old school RuneScape official live stream. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the episode today. Good morning, boys and girls. Uh, I just woke up, so my, I sound like really badly, but my goal right now is to just get a couple of prayer levels at first. Using all the bones that I bought, um, I have about 200 more, which is not that much, but it'll give me a level or two. Uh, th that'll just help out a little bit. Uh, every prayer level does help um, out. After that, I do need to get Magic Cape imbued. I'm currently just waiting for some friends to log in, so we do it together. Doing it alone is just too risky. Um, but yeah, with that said, hopefully everything goes as planned today. Hopefully we do complete the, the imbued cape, because if we do, we're then basically done. And once again, Frenchy coming in clutch, using all my bones on his altar for 79 prayer at the moment. We're probably gonna get that up a little bit more as the day goes through. Um, but uh, yeah, not bad at all. I'm still level 1 to 3 combat, which is what I want to be. Because as soon as I'm 1 to 4 combat, I start standing out like even more. I'm already going to be standing out a lot. So, But yeah, that was a pretty important thing to do. Um, now I need to gear up for a very scary thing. Okay, 1 out of 3. Nice, that's two. Tell them to make a trade though. There's a guy following me. Don't panic. I'm actually panicking because this guy's straight up scouting me right now. Yeah, I don't see through. Should we go to the TP spot? No, I'm going all the way south, dude. Okay, keep running south and tell me if you see someone. I don't have runs. This is actually black chains are here, so. Let's go, money. Let's go. Oh, this is always so hype. Yeah. Talk to me, Iti. <laughs> give him everything, man. Give me, give me the game, dude. Yeah. Yes. Let's go. Oh, fuck Bye. that shit, dude. I'm out. Yes, oh. we fucking did it, dude. Oh, man. I'm going back to bed, dude. Oh. Hey, good job, money man. Thanks for joining me. Woo! Oh, thank you. That is good. I'm happy. Nice. Yeah, oh. First Deadman Mode chest, and that's gonna be a lot of my things this time around. That's what I'll be doing. A lot of uh, a lot of barrels, basically. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> this is it. This this is where it happens. I even paused the music for this one. That, that's how sure I am that this chest is going to contain the item. My empty mat. Oh my fuck off, dude. No, man. No. <laughs> All right, well. Uh, mm. 
Uh, I'm not sure how to feel about that, but, but I guess shit, dude. Bro. I appreciate it a lot, dude. Thank you. There it is, 98 Magician. One more level to go. We will get the full level at Barrows pretty easily, I think. That is really insane how the progress is going today. Unfortunately, we're like 30-something chests in and only got an Arim's Hood, which is not the best, obviously, but we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Prepare your Pog champs. I've made over... Ah, uh, there you go. He already made money. Okay, boom. No, why? What are those drops, man? This is so bad. <laughs> no. No, you know, I'll leave it on the floor, man. Why? Why me, man? Fucking Arim Hood did the Karel Bow, man. Alright, there we go. Boom. Yes! Yes! Yeah! Oh, okay. The fuck, that's so cringe, dude. Oh my, yes! That's what I needed! Yes! That's the only thing I needed! Oh, man, I'm happy, dude. Let's go! <laughs> Oh man, it's all worth it, dude. It's all worth it. Wait, did I pick it? Hey, it is there, man. Let's go. Oh man, this is too good to be true. Ladies and gentlemen, with this final cast, well, I'm actually getting trolled right now. Everyone took the fire giants, but with the couple of casts, we will actually be concluding the account and basically the deadman mode tournament so to say the um, the plan has been accomplished once again and the plan was to be absolutely maxed you can see the stats everything is 99 and this is a very tactical level 81 prayer that level basically makes it so i am not one to four combat i don't stand out too much um but it's still a very high uh, level to use all of the uh, prayer that I want to use. The fights are going to be much faster, so there shouldn't be problems with you running out of prayer or whatever. Because there's more uh, damaging um, weapons in the game uh, for this one. Um, but yeah, this is just the last final touch I wanted to do in, uh, well, I guess, of, of the progress. And now we're going to actually talk about some of the updates and some of my feedback on the tournament. And uh, see where we can maybe improve some of it for the future. Alright, so I have a couple of pointers that I'm gonna touch on and I'm not going to be suggesting any like super significant changes because that is on the Jagex team to decide obviously and um, there have been some awesome suggestions from all sorts of different people ranging, ranging from uh, Iron Man Deadman mode all the way to like completely remake Deadman mode. I'm gonna leave all of that out. I'm just gonna be talking about some of the content that I got to experience into this Deadman mode that I actually think was really really good and um, some of the updates that went through from the season into the tournament for example emblems and whatnot. I'm also going to touch on that so uh, okay, let's start uh, first off with, um, let's say, PvP weapons and armors. Uh, I expressed my concern the, about the weapons only being dropped in the wilderness before this tournament actually went live. And I still think that the way they made it so it can only drop in wilderness is wrong. Now hear me out why. First of all, I think Deadman mode is a game mode where everything is wilderness, right? Everything should be considered wilderness, therefore, in my opinion, you, could, you should be able to receive drops everywhere, not just be basically pushed into one small location, which is Wilderness, that can be easily controlled by a clan, but rather push it everywhere uh, around RuneScape. Now, how do you prevent items from just flooding in the game? Obviously making them super rare, but my idea was actually to make them a rarer variant of a tier 5 emblems. Now, if you guys don't know how tier 5 emblem emblems work, they can only be dropped by a level 100 monster. So that would mean that weapons wouldn't be coming in the game from chickens, goblins, shit like that, no. It would only come to the game from like somewhat high level PVM content, right? And it would still be much rarer than a tier 5 emblem. Tier 5 emblem it was an amazing addition, in my opinion, to the tournament because it gets solo players an ability to buy dragon scimitars early on. Aside, uh, this goes hand in hand with uh, auto completing quests, by the way. And I think the tier 5 emblems are really, really good addition. It's a nice way of making money, making some extra cash. You can buy some alcohols, make some money. Great, uh, great uh, idea, in my opinion. Now, let me know in the comments what you think about that. Just rarer versions of tier 5 emblems as a chance of basically receiving either weapons or armor, if armor comes out later as well. 
So I think that would be much cooler way of obtaining armor, not just being forced into killing Ankus in wilderness, for example, or whatever you decide to kill in the wilderness. Um, because I, it just feels weird the, be, being pushed into that one place to get the best in slot items, right? Um, so that is just one small feedback that I kind of wanted implemented before this tournament, but now I just it's just a suggestion, basically, kind of thing. So that was one thing, right? M make uh, um, make us able to obtain the weapons and armor everywhere in the game from a hundred plus combat monsters or something like that, something in line with that. It can be even every monster. But much rarer. I just don't understand why it's wilderness only, wilderness specific. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing is actually much smaller, but doing a hundred barrows chest this tournament, uh, it really started to be annoying. Now, first of all, there was door jamming, which they hot fixed. Thank God for that. A lot of people died because they couldn't leave the room because they were getting door jammed by teams. But now what there there happens is the doors just get jammed, even if you want to just do normal runs. Now what I request or recommend is to just make the Barrow's doors the same as they are everywhere on Deadman Mode where the doors actually don't open. If you guys play Deadman Mode, you can walk through closed doors. It may sound a little bit stupid, but it's to prevent the door jamming. Exact problem that was that was a bit, very big problem in, um, in Barrow's until they fix it. And now it's just kind of a clunky mechanic where you would want to do Barrow's a bit faster, but you get stopped by not being able to go, to go through the doors. It's just a little bit annoying. So making it that you can walk through the closed doors would definitely solve that problem in my opinion. So that was the second thing that I would like to give a little bit of a feedback on. And then the third thing, quest completion, that was amazing. I, I think everyone that played this tournament agrees that the quest completion on day one, not all the quests, but all those important ones, those annoying ones, you know, monkey madness, animal magnetism, great job making them completed day one. Hopefully, I think they are completed in season as well. It's gonna be very, very nice. I'm all up for that. Good job, Jagex, on that one. And then I another very small addition that I know they cannot change for this deadman mode, but they can definitely change for the next one. Uh, with the introduction of that many new damaging weapons, um, the 1v1s at the, basically tomorrow, right? Uh, the food that we get in those 1v1s is not enough. Like we get two, one brew, two restores and shark around ones. I request or recommend uh, upping the value of food, maybe from sharks to manta rays or maybe from sharks to brews. Having a bit more brews than, uh, than, than right now would probably make the fights more interesting. I think, I think the fasts are gonna be super, super quick this time around. And I don't know if that's necessarily too good to watch, uh, but maybe, maybe the, everything will prove me wrong. But that's just a little bit of my suggestion, more brews and potentially a chance of curing poison. Like let's say one Sanfi, one Restore, something like that, right? So you can actually cure the big poison tick damaging um, things, let's say. Uh, okay, so that was one thing. And then um, another thing was actually that I would always hope for, but I know is never going to happen, is to make it so players could go straight into 1v1s. Give them, like, there, make there be a way of a player to buy into 1v1s or something like that because at the moment as a solo player and if you are a very good solo player you have absolutely no way of reaching 1v1s maybe this is against the deadman mode um how to say uh deadman mode spirit i think deadman mode is pushed towards like clans winning and whatnot but i feel like they sh there should be a way of solo player to at least somehow make it i don't know what to suggest for that but at the moment solo player cannot make it Maybe make it so the rank one in each skill or something like that gets to be just put into 1v1s. Just something completely random like that, so people will really push hard to be the best at something. I just, that was just a random idea, but being able to get into 1v1s as a solo player can be a huge thing and could be very good for like esports competitive scene. Because if you are forced to be in a clan, it's almost kind of not worth playing if you are a solo player. I don't know if you get what I'm saying, but. Basically, yeah, that was the idea. And another idea that I had was just scratch the multi completely and just push people into 1v1 straight up. Obviously, with 2,000 people, that's kind of insane. So for that, there would have to be less people in the tournaments. And then as the final would start, just have a bunch of 1v1s. And I think that would actually then be a proper eSport competitive th scene where you would have brackets and you would go fight from a fight from a fight, just going up the brackets. Uh, instead of having to go through that multi-cluster that just makes very weird, like it just doesn't feel right, in my opinion, as a 1v1 tournament kind of thing. Um, but without that being said, I kind of expressed my opinions, 
Um, I, I have an I could talk about Deadman mode for like hours and hours and hours on end because I really do love this game mode and I'm sure the Jagex team is just gonna to keep improving it. Um, and uh, yeah, with that being said, I would like to thank everyone for the support I have been getting during this tournament over on Twitch and here on YouTube. I've been getting a thousand of subscribers here each day and a thousand of followers on um, on Twitch each day and I'm just very, very grateful. So no matter what happens tomorrow, I can get DDoSed, I can die to fog, I can die in multi, I can die in 1v1s, no matter what happens. In my opinion, I, I, I won, I accomplished my goals. And that is what matters. So ladies and, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And hopefully I don't disappoint you. Bye-bye.